What's going on guys? Eddie here, Cornhole Bag Reviews, back again with another dual review. Today we got a lot of mongoose action. We got the classic Cat 3, and we got the Sabotage, two of the most popular Cornhole scenario bags. But before we get started, Gladiator to Cornhole Glove, you guys know I love this thing. Eddie 10, 10% off. If you got any troubles with sweating or grip or different conditions, definitely check them out. I love this thing. TNT Cornhole Boards, love my boards. Definitely give them a check in the description below. Double leg, double sport brace, really high quality. Love these things. And Patreon, if you want to support the channel, check out the Patreon link in the description below. But, all right guys, Cat 3s and Sabotages. So Cat 3 is probably the most famous Cornell Scenario bag. Sabotage is among the people that throw Cornell Scenario, uh, probably one of, the, one of the more popular bags that's not super mainstream, um, just for the fact that it's a little bit quicker, a little bit more hole friendly, and a little bit bigger on the template, which we'll get into. So. Cat 3, the reason I got these Cali Sunsets down here, because these are also Cat 3s and these Cat 3s. These are 2020 Cat 3s, these are 2021 Cat 3s. Um, a lot of people are saying that in 2021, the or in, in the newest version, 2022 bags, um, they aren't necessarily made by the same person that they were before. And um, you can tell a difference in, the, in just the template size and the materials in the closing stitch uh, from the old bags to the new bags. Um, it could be from, there also is definitely a little bit of a material difference in terms of it's the same material, but I think the sourcing has been different. It's very similar with series vipers to now vipers. You know, people that have series vipers just know that slow side doesn't feel the same. Well, this is the same slow side as series viper, just the back side of it. And you can just tell it just feels a little bit thinner, it wears down a little bit more. I've thrown the crap out of these throwdown ones because I was using them at throwdown. And the material just feels a little bit more cottony, more together than this. This one's a little bit more falling apart as the older ones. Both these are pretty beat up. As well as this, these newer Cat 3s have a very small and tight template. So again, these have been thrown like a ton and they are not as floppy as the old ones. And they're also not as big. If I lay them on top, the old ones, you could kind of tell, but there's almost like an eighth inch difference in template size. Um, fill is gonna be the same, that small disc, uh, but these just feel a little bit full. And maybe they went to a mixed fill. I mean, it feels like all small discs, so I'm almost positive it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just slightly different template size on these. Uh, but they definitely feel a little bit tighter. And I already thought when I got the Cat 3s, they were already a little bit small templated for me. Like I like kind of a bigger floppier bag. So when I got these, these were even tighter. Uh, so these are just a little bit too small for me. These are definitely in playability range for me, uh, but still a little bit tight. On speed range, I call these a 6.5969 in the right in that speed area. Same materials as, you know, the Galaxy Coronal Conspiracy, 724 WMDs, uh, you know, I make a bag called the Aurora. It's the same materials. It's a, a very popular material combo. It plays super, super well. Uh, that fast side's that Viper fast side that everyone knows and loves. Just a very, very hole friendly bag. You're definitely trying to go hole for hole with these things. But as the boards get sticky, which down there we're in the shade now, uh, you are able to lay some nice blocks with these things. But it's definitely more of a hole for hole kind of bag. Sabotage. So sabotage, right off the bat, I'm pretty sure these were also made by the new... Uh, people because these are 22 bags as well but the template the corners are a little bit less round uh, or close maybe a little bit and it's a tad wider like right out of the bat granted i wrinkle guarded these things they are just a little bigger like even bigger than the the cat threes which are bigger i mean you could tell a massive difference here you're looking at a full large difference between the cat threes and the sabotage to the template. I mean, you could just see it there. It's like a massive difference in terms of template size. Now this is more on my wheelhouse. This is probably my favorite cat bag that I own. Uh, speed seven, nine here, you're looking at Viper materials. Say just Viper without the dots, same fast side, same slow side. Uh, it's definitely more in that Viper size range, that bigger template, a little bit floppier in your hand. Still disc fill has a really nice handle to it. Just feels like a really high quality bag. This bag I really enjoy and had enjoyed right and knew I would like right out of the package. I like the color scheme. I like the mongoose design, but I really like the violet ombre design of purple to pink. All right, biggest neg or these are all ACL Pro stamp, by the way, the threes and the sabotages, but biggest negative, availability. I mean, it, it's really tough when they launch them on the website. And when, even if you do catch a drop, you're looking at 162 shipped. 162 retail, that's double like most companies. I mean, even Ultra releases at 95 bucks. You know, Black Sheep, I mean, Fire's 60 bucks, Reynolds, 
like Buffalo is around 100. I mean, 160 is, these are definitely the top of the top. The problem is they can do that because they sell out in five seconds. Everybody, everybody's buying them because the secondary market still buys them. Uh, to get a set of sabotages, you're probably looking at 200 to 250, depending on design. Old, and then even old bags now, like old Cat 3s, you're going to be looking at spending a little bit more because it's becoming a series Viper now where it's like people realize the old ones are a little bit better than the new ones, in my opinion. Um, but that's the thing. You're going to struggle to find a set unless you want to buy a set. If, if you're going to buy it, you got to have to spend some money. Uh, but if you get them, I mean, they're really nice bags. Do I think they're double as good as, you know, Vipers or, you know, Surefires or anything in the $90 price point? No. I think you can definitely. But there's loyalists. People really like the design. People, you know, people really like being a part of that, you know, Coronal Scenario cat, cat family kind of thing. United we throw kind of thing. Uh, then more power to you. If you like collecting and you really just wanted a set of coronal scenarios in your bag, well, who am I to tell you you can't do it? They still play really nice, but I think that price point is just a little bit high. But we'll throw them here. Oh. They are going to be on more on the fast bag side. I haven't thrown yet with that board down there in the shade, so we'll see if it's slowed down just a tad with this wind. Eh, not too bad. It can stay nice and easy now. Oh. But the Cat 3 is definitely, again, our hole for hole kind of style bag. That's a great start. Beautiful three. Not in one bag, but in four. Wind's picking up just a tad on me here, but the sabotages just come out of my hand really nice. I like the way they feel. They're very forgiving. That one had a little bit of right to left angle on it, so it makes sense that it cut on me. But I reached over to grab it. Let's see if I can do one more left to right cut to grab that thing. That's not gonna. I've had a case of the rights when it comes to my pushes lately, my step up pushes. It's like, just really try to grab that edge and I just haven't been following through right. So definitely something I'm working on, trying to focus on. Coming up on state here in a couple weeks. Definitely trying to get my reps in. Sabotages though, definitely meant if you're a fastback thrower, that was a nice little loft there, able to lay a block, try to push through and completely miss. Push through again, there we go. But again, she comes out of my hand really nice. Super hole friendly. Not much more to say about, you know, if you've thrown a Viper, if you've thrown, you know, that seven, nine speed bag, it's gonna have that nice soft, slow side on your fingers, as well as just a nice hole friendly bag in general. Oops, a little bit short there. And now that's gonna be a little bit long. All right. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Again, with the Cat 3s, I kind of had these when I first got them, too. Granted, that was just me missing off the sides. But when I had them, too, I found that the slightly smaller template, at least for my hands and my play style, just never, I couldn't dial them in as much as I could. Kind of a bigger bag, but that is just me personally. A lot of people love Cat 3s. They're their most famous bag for a reason. You know, Josh Holland killing the world with cat three same with Derek Holland wind picking up a little bit here a oh, little bit to the right try to get under the wind there we go again they're a fastback they're hole friendly they're gonna but I would say the cat threes you got a way better chance of blocking and pushing than you do with the sabotages the sabotages are gonna be more of your slide in and race bag they're also gonna be a lot better when the boards get sticky the thing with that Cat 3 material. Oh. The thing with that Cat 3 material is that slow side similar to the Conspiracy to the WMD. It cuts through humidity until it doesn't. It's, it, it'll randomly start sticking up just a little bit more than even Pro Sniper. I'd say it's a little bit faster than Pro Sniper uh, when you're first starting out, like in, during on the day or when the boards are medium speed. But then as stickiness starts to show up, I'd say that Pro Sniper stays a little bit longer. There's a block through that one a little bit higher. Oh, terrible push. I'm trying to not. Oh, that was terrible too. I'm trying to go back to basics with my wrist because I feel like I'm starting to over rotate. I think I was I was focusing so hard on getting my bag flat, I actually went too far the opposite direction. Where now my bag um, actually goes right to left on every shot. So trying to. Dial her back just a tad. Go for an air mail here for the fourth bag. Short. Oh, terrible. Now what was happening when I was learning cuts and rolls and 
working on all this stuff again, I started turning my wrist and my back swing. And then, so it actually reduced my power and made it so the bag is jumping when it hits the board. It's great for cut shots, but not for your normal slide shot. I'll go down back one more time here. Again, if this slow side is I'll throw a fast side, but it is going to be. Don't have to barely hit the board. Whew. Oh, turn my wrist there. It's going to go left. Yeah, I threw those super high. So I've been messing around with following through again, and we'll go fast side with all these as well. So it's fast, but at the same time, very hole friendly. Barely have to get near the hole and it'll go in. Nice grab of the other one. Air mill. And deep. Short to deep. Come down here one more time. Overall, I don't personally throw cats. I think they're a nice bag, but I don't think they're, you know, above and beyond better than any other bag I've thrown. I find that it kind of follows the mold of a lot of other bags, Vipers, that is not good. Other fast bags in general. But, I mean, if someone wanted to throw sabotages especially, I wouldn't be opposed, and they play really nice. Really easy to throw, really whole friendly. Got some kids walking behind me. All right, let's see if we can finish up strong here. That's not in, huh? Go for an airmail drag, even though I don't have to. Sure, why not? Oh, hit the hole, no drag. Definitely just left these two here on purpose for the outro. All right, guys. Well, Sabotage and uh, Cat 3. Two of the most popular Cornell scenario bags. I don't think they're worth the money, but if you do have a set, they play great. Uh, seven, nine speed, six, nine speed, uh, definitely in the faster side of the lineup, but the most hole friendly and people love these things. Uh, it definitely is one of the most passionate fan bases, but uh, don't think that you're spending $200 and getting a bag that is like revolutionary, uses materials that nobody else can get. Awesome designs, really high quality. They feel great, uh, but they're more of a collector item than anything. But if you have a set and you love playing them, more power to you, they're a really nice bag. Appreciate you guys stopping by for another review. If you like this stuff, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you have a great rest of your day and rest of your week. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.